SpaceX is making significant strides with Starship, aiming to assist humanity in achieving crucial goals such as reaching the Moon or Mars. But did you know? Beyond these noble missions, Starship has the potential to serve as a space station. Sounds wild, doesn't it? However, this scenario could very well become reality, potentially emerging as a leading habitat for humans in space once the ISS completes its mission. NASA, notably, is highly intrigued by the prospect of the Starship space station project and intends to collaborate extensively with SpaceX in its development. So what sets the Starship space station apart from others? What role might it fulfill for both SpaceX and NASA in the future? Join us as we delve deeper into these questions on today's episode of Alpha Tech. The space race in the coming years will enter its most important stages, when countries will continuously take bolder steps on important fronts like the Moon or Mars. The US is currently the country leading most races, but it seems they are facing an extremely urgent problem. The ISS is up coming retirement. It can be said that the space station is considered a crucial element to all U.S. space strategies and it would be a great disadvantage for them if they lost this support. So, in the last operational years of the ISS, the task of NASA and other companies will be to create at least one space station that can replace this legendary outpost in the final frontier. To achieve that goal, NASA awarded many contracts to private companies to build the new space station. Most recently, they announced the collaborations for Commercial Space Capabilities 2, or CCSC2, initiative that included seven U.S. private companies. Among these, SpaceX's project attracts a lot of attention because it has many differences compared to other projects. So what are those differences? Unlike other stations, SpaceX will build a space station based on their largest vehicle, Starship. Starship has long been designed with an incredibly large space that can send up to 100 people to Mars in each spacecraft. Regarding specific design, current Starship spacecraft have a height of 50 meters and a diameter of 9. However, the habitable area will only be about 18 meters on the fairings, fairing area of the spacecraft, but it can also create a space up to 1,000 cubic meters, larger than the ISS's volume of about 900 cubic meters. With this volume, it can be divided into many floors with separate and more diverse functions than on the ISS. First, work areas will be separated from other ones. Here, SpaceX will equip many modern systems for observation, research, and space station operations. Besides the area for professional work, Starship will have other areas with the same amenities as a home on Earth. For example, they will design a separate floor for the garden, kitchen, and food storage to serve the dining demand. There will be another area with modern exercise equipment to help astronauts maintain their physical health. Lodgings will also be arranged on a separate floor with a comfortable and private design for astronauts to rest. There are also many other areas for astronauts to relax, observe, and experience the feeling of zero gravity. But that is just a very small part of this giant spacecraft. Many believe that SpaceX will gradually remove the remaining areas like propellant tanks and engines to convert them into habitable space to make the most of Starship's huge size. If this happens, that space will be three times as large as the aforementioned, which is more than 3,000 cubic meters for each Starship. At that point, the internal designs will certainly change a lot. However, removing those important parts will be a big challenge and will lead to many other problems. It's unclear how SpaceX will do this, so why don't you give us some predictions while we wait for more details. Additionally, SpaceX has also other ideas about connecting starships together. Specifically, about 20 starships will be connected consecutively into a circle and move continuously around a central structure thanks to the effect of gravity. It'll be like the giant Ferris wheel. This would be completely possible if the price of 20 million US dollars or less for each starship that was claimed by Musk is true. It'll help create a space station that can operate for more than 20 years in orbit. Meanwhile, the ISS currently has a total cost of up to 150 billion US dollars and other expensive maintenance costs. This is clearly a superior advantage of the Starship space station compared to the ISS. If deployed successfully, this will truly be a revolution that SpaceX creates for the space station aspect in particular and the aerospace industry in general. It can be said then that NASA is extremely excited about that idea. That's why SpaceX became one of seven companies in their CCSC2 project. The determination is even more obvious when NASA also reveals more specific information about this plan in the Space Act agreement between them and SpaceX. According to this agreement, the Starship Space Station development roadmap will have to go through 13 milestones, from the Starship test flights to the completion of the space station. This process will last over five years, with the final milestone coming in the fourth quarter of 2028 
date, when SpaceX will have completed all preliminary design reviews with the Starship LEO crewed space station, commencing operations for the station in 2030 by the time the ISS stops working. The potential of the Starship space station will be huge, however, it will face a lot of other strong competitors. As for the ISS, it was the single space station in orbit for most of its operating life. It has only faced competition from the Chinese space station, Tiangong, in recent years. On the contrary, the competition with the Starship space station will be much more fierce as many domestic and foreign projects are also developing. First up, we cannot go talking about space stations without mentioning the one in development by Axiom Space. This station has a special feature because it'll be built right on the ISS. This space station will have four main parts that will gradually be assembled until completed. It'll officially separate and operate independently when the ISS officially deorbits. Its advantage will, of course, be that it can rely on the ISS for development, so it'll not be too difficult to complete. Besides that, it will also integrate a lot of modern technology, including great designs to improve living space for astronauts, something previous stations couldn't do. That will be a very strong competitive factor with SpaceX's space station. Or we can go ahead and talk about Sierra Space's LIFE, or Life Inflatable Habitat System, in the Orbital Reef Project that this company cooperates with Blue Origin. The unique strength of this system is the inflatable modules. This will be extremely convenient for the launching and construction process compared to conventional fixed structures, a very strong competitive factor with SpaceX's project. Moreover, each module can also create a space of up to 300 cubic meters, enough to divide into many areas with separate functions like the Starship Space Station. And we can't forget the Chinese space station, the Tiangong, that has been competing fiercely with the ISS. In just over a year, China has built a basic structure with three modules and they will also double the size of the station in coming years. Although much smaller than the ISS, it looks quite spacious thanks to its neater and simpler design. New technologies are another strength of the Tiangong with the most advanced equipment for observation, research, analysis, and more. Systems serving astronauts' lives, like dining, health, and personal activities and care, have also been greatly improved. The space station is under construction, so if the other stations do not quickly deploy, the Tiangong will become the single space station in orbit after the ISS retires. The journey toward establishing the Starship space station undoubtedly presents numerous challenges and opportunities. Constructing the Starship space station involves a series of hurdles, with SpaceX's immediate focus being the successful placement of Starship into orbit, an ongoing challenge they're currently tackling. Even after deployment, it will contend with formidable competitors in the space arena. However, looking ahead, especially into 2024, there's confidence that these objectives will soon materialize. A space station comprised of colossal spacecraft will cease to be just a vision. It'll become a tangible reality, poised to compete among other space stations for the distinction of being the largest human habitat in space. This outpost holds promise as a crucial waypoint for humanity's deeper forays into space exploration, presenting both challenges and intriguing opportunities. That's it for today's episode. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please let us know what you think in the comment section down below, because your feedback is very important to us and helps us make better videos for you. So for that, we thank you so much, and we hope to see you again next time. Until then, happy holidays!